All right, I want to do our main lesson book drawing for our igloo. Oops, bonk, bonk. All right, and so what we're going to do is when we build our, when we draw our shelters, I say build because we're kind of going to build them on our paper. So we're going to start again with our border, and I think I'm going to use my kind of greener blue here, so it's the one closer to the purple in mine. And I'm gonna make my border. Ooh, that's such a nice watery blue, I love it. Gives me that feeling of being kind of cold. And then, I kind of feel like maybe, maybe we wanna turn it actually because I think that would feel like a better orientation for our picture. So I'm gonna turn it that way. And I, I want the spiral at the top whenever I turn the page like this, because that way I don't have that spiral kind of digging into my wrist. All right, so we are gonna build this igloo as if we were building it ourselves. So I'm gonna use my other blue, because this is kind of a bit of a, it's a little bit like washed out blue. You notice it's not as dark and it can kind of look a little bit like ice or snow. So we're gonna start with our first piece of snow that we would put on. And if you remember, they have a rectangle that they start with, but they actually shave it down into an angle so that it will spiral up. So we're gonna start out, let's kind of give ourselves a little boundary on the bottom. So let's just very kind of lightly put a little bottom. So that's just how, where the, where the ground is gonna be. And I might even like, I'm gonna kind of give myself a little border here and here. Okay, and that, that way, that kind of just gives me an idea of where things are gonna be. And I'm gonna start right over here in the corner. And I'm using, you notice I'm using my block crayon because we're drawing blocks and it's gonna, it'll be nice to, to draw the blocks with a block. So I'm gonna kind of come up here at an angle and draw my block. Okay, and oops, but it's gonna come, it's not angled there. So once I get here, I'm gonna kind of turn it. And then I'm gonna leave a tiny white gap in there so that we can see the sort of blocky nature of this igloo. And so I'm just using my block crayon to make my blocks. All right, so there's my first round, and the first round would have kind of come in into and um, next to this. So I'm gonna put my next block kind of like that. And we're gonna keep going. And now we have to remember that it's gonna come in like that. So I've got to stop and I'm, I'm gonna give myself, maybe I'm gonna push my crayon Sometimes it's better to pull and sometimes it's better to push. So I'm gonna push in from here because that'll help me get the right shape. And then coming over here, I'm gonna make sure I'm at an angle again. And maybe I'll push in that one side. It's a little tricky right there. Okay, so there's our igloo that we just built. We wanted to have a nice little, um, one of those little entryways though that they kind of have. So let's, let's come over here and we're gonna lay out a couple blocks for the entryway. Just like that, just about two layers of blocks for the entryway. And now kind of darken up our little horizon line here and let's see, let's give it a, let's put a sky back there. Now the sky in the winter, I love the sky in Alaska in the winter because it's always kind of pink. I'm gonna make this, I know it's gonna, it sounds strange to give a pink sky, but I'm gonna do a pink sky on mine because I think it's the most beautiful thing that we have in the sky in the winter being so pink, it's so beautiful. And the sky isn't just pure pink though. It's kind of like this golden orange pink. So I'm coming in with my orange and I'm 
I'm gonna kind of just ooh, very lightly with the orange because that's maybe a little bit too much. Maybe we're better off with the golden actually. But it's okay, I've got a bit of orange there at the top and then the golden is gonna come in here and warm up that sky. And then we have our white snow. So there's our igloo, but boy, that doesn't look like there's enough going on. I want to draw, I'm gonna draw a little dog sleeping outside the igloo. That'll be kind of a nice little addition. So, hmm, I'm trying to decide what color are the dogs that they would have. They would probably not have a little brown dog, would they? They might have a little kind of black and white kind of dog. So let's do this. We'll kind of, uh, we'll draw a little black dog. All right, so I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna, my dog's gonna be kind of laying down, curled up outside. So I'm gonna start with the body and it's gonna be kind of a bean shape. And I'm using my black crayon to make this bean shape. And I'm, I'm gonna actually not fill it quite all the way in right there at the bean, that part, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna give, it, give the dog a little head coming off of here and maybe even give it a little nose and some ears. And that actually kind of looks like a tail already. Just give it a little arm. There we go. And then that little tiny bit of white I left gives that indication of maybe the tail or something like that. So there's a little dog lying outside. And if we want to, we can even just, I feel like this needs just a little bit more of a snow look to it. So we can just come in there and add a little bit of, I'm not coloring it all the way in, I'm just coloring little bits to make it look like shadows of snow. And I think I actually wanna, I'm gonna come up here and kind of round things off just a little bit, maybe darken it, a, darken it a little bit. If I kind of push a little bit on the edges, I get a nice, a little bit of darker edge line. Yeah, that's that's a little bit better, okay. Oh, I want to do that right here too. Kind of pushing a little harder on the top than I did on the bottom just to make it kind of melt in there. All right, that I like that picture. 